This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Today we speak with Professor Vyad Yu about his research in the genetics of metabolic diseases. Hi Vyad. Hi. So what is a metabolic disease? So in the human body, there are many chemical reactions taking place in order to degrade the unwanted toxic materials mm-hmm. in the cell and also to generate the essential compounds and materials necessary for normal function. Mm-hmm. And a metabolic disorder is one in which a particular chemical reaction step is defective. So it's a little bit like a um, factory production assembling line where a particular assembling step is missing the worker. And this leads to the pile up of the unwanted toxic material before the assembling step and also the lack of the product materials after that assembling step. And in the human body, these workers are known as enzymes. What causes this sort of metabolic disease? And the majority of these metabolic disorders are genetic conditions. Mm -hmm. And this means that um, the molecular cause of the disease is a mutation in the gene responsible for the enzyme or responsible for the chemical reaction. And the mutations are usually inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, Mm -hmm. meaning that uh, the patient will inherit a defective copy of the gene from the mother and a defective copy of the gene from the father. How can we treat this kind of um, genetic metabolic disorder? Um, There are currently very few therapeutic options available for these disorders and the current mainstay of treatment is um, the management of symptoms in the patient, the restriction of dietary intake of certain food ingredients Mm -hmm. and also the supplementation of nutrients and certain detoxifying agents in the diet. In some diseases, um, organ organ transplantation is possible and clearly there is a lack of small molecule drugs available for these metabolic disorders, which is an area of my interest. What are the most important lines of research that have emerged in this area in the last five to ten years? The past decade has seen some technology advancing in three aspects which have implications in the diagnosis and the treatment of these metabolic disorders. The first is the use of next generation sequencing technology to specifically identify and pinpoint the mutation on the gene. The second is the use of mass spectrometry methods as a detection Mm -hmm. in newborn screening programs Mm -hmm. and these are nationwide programs to identify infants that have the metabolic disorders. And the third are some novel discovery in new approaches to treat disorders, for example, by replacing the gene Mm -hmm. that is defective and also replacing the defective enzyme. Why does your line of research matter? Why should we fund it? My research focuses on the root cause of these disorders, which are the defective enzymes. Mm -hmm. Enzymes are proteins, and we believe that by understanding the uh, 3D shapes and the properties of these proteins is the essential first step in understanding the molecular reasons of the defect Mm -hmm. and also to design new small molecule drugs for the disorders. My line of research is important because of two reasons. The first is that there are unanswered questions. Mm -hmm. While there are hundreds of metabolic disorders known, new ones are continued to be identified and many of which are poorly understood at the moment. The second reason is there is an unmet need. While uh, metabolic disorders are rare individually, collectively they affect 1-3% to of the world population and 1 in 1,000 infants are known to inherit a metabolic disorder, so therefore creating a health burden in the society. How does your research fit within translational medicine within the department? My research adopts a translational approach Mm -hmm. in that I collaborate heavily with clinicians and geneticists who are at the forefront of identifying the mutations and the diseases. I collaborate with the drug developers and the pharmaceutical industry to find new ways of designing small molecule drugs. I also collaborate with patient groups to disseminate our experimental data and to answer any questions they have on the scientific aspects of the diseases. So the objective is to create a platform Mm -hmm. where our basic science understanding in the bench could be brought closer to the clinic and onwards to the patients. That's great. Thank you so much, Fred. That's very interesting. Thank you.